the strain of the economy continues to be felt nationwide. Despite the ongoing economic slump, Clark County continues to invest in transportation infrastructure to improve safety. In 2012, every county dollar spent on transportation will be matched by nearly 80 cents in state and federal grants and loans. One of the projects this summer is replacing Cougar Creek Bridge on Northeast Washougal River Road, one of only two wood bridges owned and maintained by the county. Cougar Creek Bridge was built in 1935 and partially replaced in 1959. The rebuild uh, that was done in 1959 was just a partial rebuild. It was just uh, the deck and some of the beams to widen the bridge. Um, the repair we did in 2010 was a temporary repair. Um, during a routine 24-month uh, month inspection, we noticed some rot. It's a timber bridge. So we decided to be proactive um, and go in and do some repairs while simultaneously applying for grant funding uh, to replace the bridge. Um, the repairs did address most of the rot, however there was some left in the bridge. Um, it was more extensive than we initially anticipated um, and the bridge is at the end of its useful life. Um, so we were successful in getting funding um, for replacement which is the most cost effective um, solution for a bridge of that age. The overall project is expected to cost $1.4 million for design and construction with a federal grant providing 80% of funding. The bridge replacement will require a full closure of the of the road. Uh, no one will be able to get across at the at the bridge location specifically. That's for the safety of the public. Um, it's a very constricted area, so this was the only way we could replace it. For most of the traveling public, uh, they will use alternative routes. Approximately 3,400 vehicles cross Cooper Creek Bridge daily. About 12% of that is truck traffic. The bridge replacement is expected to begin in July and completed by October. Mailers will be sent out to residents in the area and updates listed on the county website. The new bridge is expected to have a 75-year lifespan. This bridge will be 32 feet, which will provide two larger travel lanes as well as shoulders, and the bridge will be better aligned with the curvature of the Washougal River Road. Another project slated for this summer is stabilizing the slide area on Pacific Highway, known as Moorhaven Slide, outside Les Center. With this particular slide, the road itself is actually sinking. It came about many years ago. I mean, there are people that have been around 20, 30 years that tell me that this slide has been a problem. And so we were going out there throwing more asphalt every time it sank or every time um, it cracked. And you can only throw so much asphalt. And when I say slide, I'm not saying a slide where you expect the soil to come sliding down the side of the hill. It won't happen, at least not on this part of the side. This slide is more like a bowl sat on its side underground, and it's 40 to 50 feet deep. And the end of the slide, which we call the toe, is actually out in Jenny Creek. And so Jenny Creek is gently eroding away at the toe of this slide and causing it to constantly move. So as this bowl drops, so does the road. This project is funded by a county road administration grant that is about $1.6 million. The remainder comes from the county road fund. Total project cost is $2 million. The county's gonna be doing two things out there. Um, the first thing to just address the slide is called a deep patch. The slide is actually 600 feet wide, and we are going to excavate about six feet deep. And after we excavate, we're going to layer with geofabric. And geofabric, of course, is not like the fabric we wear. Geofabric is, is a heavy, plastic-like woven material, very sturdy. And so you put down the fabric, and then we'll put down rock, fabric, rock, fabric, four layers. We call them lifts. So we'll have four lifts of rock like that, about five feet of it. And on top of that, we will lay the road surface again. And this will stabilize the road. The construction will require a complete road shutdown. The road will be barricaded from July through August. Detour routes will be listed on the county website and mailers will be sent to residents. We're going to have two detours around this mess. Uh, one is for more local traffic and delivery, that kind of thing, and emergency vehicles. And the other one will be for more of the big rigs, the big trucks. 
uh, they will have a longer route. We can only do this in the summer because we have asphalt, of course, that we have to deal with. The second phase of this, we will do like we do most roads. We're going to do a complete overlay, and we're going to widen the road. The road will be um, have two-foot shoulders on each side. Guardrail will be added. Additional information about upcoming transportation improvements will be posted on the county's website at clark.wa.gov slash publicworks.